Today, I promise you this. Love is not to possess, to own or imprison, nor to lose oneself in another. Beautiful. Love is to join and separate, to walk together and alone, and to find a laughing freedom that lonely isolation does not permit. It is to finally be able to be who you really are, no longer clinging to childish dependency, nor docilely living our lives separately. It is to be perfectly oneself and perfectly joined in permanent commitment to another. Love endures when it moves like waves, receding and returning, gently or passionately. We're moving lovingly like the tide with the moon's own predictable harmony. There, finally, Despite childhood scars or an adult's deepest wounds, they are openly free to be exactly who they are and always were in the core of their being, where true and lasting love can alone abide. reluctant to admit that I'm a procrastinator and have yet to begin my bucket list. But if even if I had started, I would have never placed performing this ceremony on it. I am honored and humbled to they asked me to do this. I will laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sorrow. I will share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. I will listen to you with compassion and understanding and speak to you with encouragement. Together, <clears throat> let us build a home filled with learning, laughter, and light shared freely with all who may live there. Let us be partners, friends, and lovers today and all of the days that follow. I, Kevin, take thee, Louise, to be my wife. I, Louise, take thee, Kevin, to be my husband. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. In joy and sorrow. And I promise my love to you. And I promise my love to you. I take you as my wife. I take you as my husband. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both, long shall, as we both shall live. By the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. We wanted to do something special for Louise, even though 
but she would never ask for it, and she was maybe even too practical for it. So he contacted me, and he said, I am going to propose to Louise tomorrow at sunrise overlooking the James River. And this was November, and he said, can you photograph it? So I actually told my mom and dad, and I, had, I, I hid behind a, a stone wall, and mom hid in a gazebo, and dad laid down in a stairwell behind a hedge. So by the time he was actually proposing to her, we were really tired of being cold because they were having a lovely time, they were laughing, they were making jokes, they were embracing. And I approached them, taking photographs, and he started to propose to Louise. And after he did that, she started crying. And I realized how much it meant to her that he realized both how much she wanted to marry him, but how much she wanted it to be special. And I love Kevin. I really love Kevin. And one of the best things that's ever happened was being able to be a bridesmaid in this wedding and watch Kevin's eyes as he was saying everything he was saying to Louise and worrying that maybe he wasn't saying it right, but also still smiling. And I could tell she was still smiling even though she was crying a little bit. I've known this guy forever, uh, literally. Um, I was there the day he was born, uh, going up and down the elevator. For the life of me, I've always found that, you know, being the older brother, you would look up to me, but uh, at this point in time, I would, you know, start looking up to you. Um, you know, I, um, you're always there for everybody. You're always, uh, you know, available. I always have a smile on your face. It's just, uh, it's just amazing. Um, you know, you can always, you know, there's a saying that basically, uh, you, you, you can't choose your family, but you can choose who you want to be your family. And, uh, you know, even though you're my brother, and, uh, you know, I wouldn't change that for anything. At the same time, you know, I'd pick you as my family every time. Louise, uh, you know, um, I couldn't be happier to say welcome to the family. You know, yeah, you're just an amazing woman. And, um, you know, we, we couldn't be happier. You make Kevin, you know, very happy. And, uh... <laughs> dreams come true, and may Father time never be unkind. And through the years, save your smiles and your tears, they're just souvenirs. Let them play music in your heart. And remember this, each new day with kiss, sent from up above with an angel's love. So here's to you, may your skies be blue, and your love blessed, that's my best to you.